Hello and welcome to the bench here at Diplomat. I'd like to talk to you a little about the Datex 3 mobile data terminal and show you some of the features of the ANSI VT100 terminal emulation firmware which we're offering on this device. Uh, to start with, I'd like to show you the Datex 3 mobile data terminal and here we have the terminal um, it uses a, a 128 pixel by 64 pixel uh, display. It has eight push buttons arranged around the screen. Uh, you've got up and down scroll buttons either side of the screen for left hand or right hand operation and a row of four buttons underneath the screen which can be used for um, soft functions which you can display above each of the, the buttons. Uh, it's a slim unit as you can see and it's made of uh, solid aluminium extrusion. Sockets on the back uh, are for four communications ports, four serial ports um, which communicate at various baud rates and uh, power can be applied to any of these serial ports or as we're demonstrating here using a USB adapter, 5 volt adapter which plugs in the side here. Next to the USB socket is a, uh, a stereo 3.5mm um, uh, audio input for um, general purpose amplification because inside the Datax is a, a loudspeaker and a power amplifier so that you can use this as a powered speaker for in vehicle devices like navigation aids for example. If we apply power we'll see a the startup splash screen and here we are there's the splash screen it's a Datex 3 terminal software and uh, it shows the default baud rate in the bottom corner of 9600 after the splash screen has disappeared you're now into terminal mode. You've got a flashing cursor up in the top here and down in the bottom there is a scroll bar where you can navigate through a buffer of 100 rows and a virtual screen of 20 rows. The actual display itself can show up to 8 rows of text but um, any text that appears on the screen would scroll off the bottom and would fill a virtual screen of 20 rows. It will, however, buffer the last 100 rows, and by using the up-down scroll buttons, you can navigate through that buffer of 100 rows. But by using the VT100 commands, you can move the cursor through the virtual screen of 20 rows. I'll, I'll show that in a moment. So, um, to accompany the, the development kit for the Datex 3, uh, we include a simple program for use on the PC, which we're showing here in the background. Um, the uh, software on the PC has a number of canned uh, VT100 commands which you can see in the bottom half of the screen here and these commands include common ones like reset display, uh, delete backspace, horizontal tab, line feed etc and down at the bottom uh, towards the bottom uh, we've got uh, an add string command so here um, with, that, with that command uh, highlighted I've typed into this box here the words hello world and sure enough if I uh, hit the go button on the, uh, on the PC uh, we have the words hello world appear on the screen just like that. So by uh, by using these commands you can demonstrate the, the facilities that there are and you can see down the bottom there's that scroll bar there as I use the up down arrows buttons we're scrolling through a 100 row buffer the little pixels in the corner here there's a pixel at the top which is, represents the hundredth row of the, uh, of the buffer um, the pixel just there is the twentieth row, and the pixel right down at the very bottom is the, if you like, the first row of the buffer. It's the it's the row that gets written to um, by the uh, by text commands. 
every time you press a button, events are shown in the top half of the screen. So every time I press a button here, you see text appearing in the application. There are two numbers associated with each button press. The first number is which button has been pressed and the second number is the duration that the button was pressed for. So you can interpret uh, the user's actions uh, in different ways according to um, not only which button has been pressed but for how long it's been pressed for. So you can define a long button press as meaning one thing, a short button press as meaning something else. So there you have it, the Datex 3 mobile data terminal, perfect general purpose terminal for displaying information and allowing a user to interact with that information. Available now at the Diplomat website. Oh, did I mention the other mounting feature on the back here? Herbert Richter, marvellous range of mobile mounts. Here's one suction type mount that goes onto your windscreen. Um, this is how a very convenient way of mounting the Datax in a vehicle uh, by just clipping onto the back there like that so that can then stick on your windscreen. Great. Thank you very much for watching.